anybody in that entrance? They're dead now. In my video here, you can spawn AI through a trigger that will hunt you using the Hearn Hunter AI script. In today's video, I will show you a similar method where you can spawn AI through a trigger that will garrison a building or buildings using the TOG garrison script. We're going to start off here by building a little mission. We're going to set this on the contact platform. And we're going to collapse this, then we're going to go to NATO, Woodland, and then Men. Then we're going to go down to Grenadier, and we're going to place down a Grenadier. And we're going to right click and go down to Edit Loadout. And we're going to set up a loadout that I have for this. And this is going to be our loadout. Next, we're going to go to Triggers and place the trigger in front of the player. I'm going to go to the Area Widget at the top and kind of expand this. So Triggers in front of the player and we're going to double click and edit the trigger. We're going to turn this into a rectangle and then we're going to go to the Activation and we're going to set the activation as any player present. We're not going to set it to repeatable and we're going to add a code to the on activation box here but before we do that we're going to put the code together outside the game in a notepad document. Let's go do that right now. We're going to start up a notepad document and I'm going to give you guys some code. So once you get your notepad document open just hit enter underscore group one with a capital G space equals space left square bracket get marker pause space quote mark end quote then comma space east then comma then press enter then you're going to go left bracket quote end quote comma space quote end quote two right square brackets then space call space b i s underscore f n c underscore spawn group and then semicolon then hit enter left curve bracket left square bracket then leader space underscore group one right square bracket right curve bracket space e x e c v m v m is capitalized and space quote tog underscore garrison underscore script dot sqf and then quote and then semicolon then hit enter again then type hint space quote you have garrisoned some enemy exclamation point end quote and then semicolon all right let's review this code real quick group one is the enemy that we're going to be spawning and then they're going to spawn on a marker named mark this group is going to be east or op4 and then the next line we have in these brackets will be class names which we still have to get this here calls the spawn group function the next line down is leader of the group one garrison script is called on the leader and then the group gets garrisoned and this last line here is a hint you don't have to have this but basically a hint just is a good way to give you feedback that you triggered the trigger. That's it for that. Let's go back in game and add the marker. We're going to go to F6 markers at the top and we're going to place a marker and this is going to be where the AI is going to spawn. So we're going to scroll in and as you can see here this is where our player is and the trigger that we created. So we're going to move over and go right about here in between these four buildings. And under standard military, we're just going to place a flag marker. Now, the marker you place, it doesn't matter what type of marker you use. But we're going to place the marker right here. And we're going to edit the marker. And we're going to name it Mark. Now, just keep in mind that the name of the marker can be whatever you want. 
but just make sure that in the code where it says get marker position that it's the same marker name. If you don't have the same marker name, then the AI will not spawn. All right, hit OK, and the marker should be named Mark. Now that we have our marker set up, let's go back to the player. We're going to set up some enemies and get their class names. We're going to go to OP4, FIA, Infantry, and an Assault Squad. We're going to scroll out and go out to the field here. And we're going to place these enemies. Since they're already highlighted, we're just going to right click one of them. And we're going to go to Log and then go down to where it says Log Classes to Clipboard. And doing that, we'll have logged all the class names from these guys to the clipboard of our desktop. To understand what a class name is, let's scroll in and let's take a look at one of these guys. It says Rifleman Light AT. That's just like a face name to describe what this soldier is. But underneath that name, it says O underscore G soldier underscore LA2 2 underscore F. That is the class name. So you have two names here. And this soldier here is an auto rifleman. Under that word, auto rifleman, is the class name. So now you guys understand what the class names are. All right, let's go back to our notepad document and let's add the class names to the code. All right, back in our notepad document, you're going to go to this bracket here. And in between these two brackets, just highlight the code just like I did there and then press Control V. That will paste all the class names that we logged in game. So what you're going to do now is you're going to go to each one of these class names and you're going to put some quotes before and after. So you're going to put a quote, 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 quote. And then you're going to put a quote and a comma after. We're just going to do the quotes, quote. And then we're going to put a comma, 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 and then no comma on the last one. So what you have here is a, a quote before and after the class name and then a comma. Now the comma is there to separate each class name. So now that we have that, let's just do this. And this will kind of organize the code a little bit. Now that the code is ready to go is we're just going to highlight all this and then you're going to press control C and then we're going to go back in game and paste this into the trigger. Alright back in our mission I'm going to highlight these guys again and then we're just going to delete them. We're going to go back to the trigger by the player. We're going to edit the trigger double click and then you're going to go to the on activation box and you're going to press control V. Now that'll paste the code that we did in the notepad document. And all you have to do here is just hit OK and that sets up the code. Next, we need to add the script to the scenario. In order to do that, we need to actually have the mission saved. We're going to save the mission and we're going to put it on Livonia. And we're going to name this Tog underscore garrison underscore script all right now that the scenario is saved we're going to go back to the desktop and add this script into our scenario so go to the scenario tab at the top left and then down to where it says open scenario folder we're now in our scenario folder of the mission that we just created and I have another scenario with the talk garrison script on it and it's this scenario here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the script, press Control C, and I'm going to paste it into our scenario folder. Close this. I'm going to link this script in the description of the video so you can download it. And once you get it and you extract the zip and you take the script out, you're going to take the script and put it into your scenario folder just like I did here. The scenario should work and do what it's supposed to do. All right, let's get back in game and test our scenario out. All right, back in the scenario, let's test it out. All right, now all we have to do now is just walk through the trigger and see where these guys go. Let's go to spectator. And 
you can see they automatically get garrisoned. So if we look around, so we got a few guys that are spread out. Got one in this building, a couple in there. Got one in this building next to us, and one over here. So let's see if we could clear these guys out. We'll take care of this guy back here. building here and we got a couple on that building I know there's one in that building I can't exactly see him so we might be all right to go in front here but we don't know where this guy's at Alright, that was one guy in here. This guy, I think. I don't... If I see him correctly, he's right here. Yeah, that's what I thought. He's right on the corner. Maybe he'll come out. There he is. That was a good move. Alright, so we got guys in this building. There's only two rooms in here, so... Try some RGNs. <laughs> Killed someone. Oh, killed two guys. I'm gonna check this room here. And that's clear. We'll go over here first. What, two guys in here? Yeah, there he is. He's looking right at me. <laughs> Damn! That didn't get him either. Alright, that takes care of them. Alright guys, hope you liked that. For more codes and scripts, take a look at this playlist.